How do you onboard your new subscribers to set up long-term retention? Hi, I'm Robert Scrobe, and this is the YouTube show dedicated to showing you how to make your subscription business be unleavable. Often subscription businesses will tell me, yeah, Robert, I like that onboarding and your on-ramp idea, but really I'm not trying to keep my subscribers for 30 days or 90 days. I wanna keep them for life. Well, we're gonna show you an example that is designed to do just that. An on-ramp for your subscribers dedicated to keeping your subscribers engaged and renewing for years. But first, make sure that you subscribe to the show so that you receive future episodes delivered directly to you and press the like, like button so that uh, others are able to discover this show as well. A great example of a subscription business that has completely recreated their subscriber on-ramp and is dedicated to growing their long-term subscriber retention is Charity Water. Charity Water is a charity that helps bring clean water to people around the world that don't have it. And they do a terrific job, 100% of all public donations go to providing water to people who need it. And as a great example, they have launched a subscription business. Now it's probably been about five years ago that they launched it. And one of the things that they quickly discovered is that subscribers Pay, are paying 20 times or more of a lifetime value than individuals who give one-time donations. And Charity Water really went all in on the subscription model about four or five years ago. And it's made an, a huge difference in the impact that they're able to have in the world to bring clean water. Now you might say, hey, you know, this is a charity, this business isn't anything like mine, well, it's important to learn from organizations like charities, like political campaigns. Uh, you know, that's one of the key things I discovered about the subscription business 20 years ago. If you can study a business that doesn't actually send their subscribers anything, and you're a SaaS company that has a great tool or a publisher that's sending out newsletters or mat materials, or a VIP subscription that gives your subscribers a, a better access to your products or service, then you're going to be able to learn a lot of great strategies without increasing your cost of fulfillment, without actually having to send more, because you understand the psychology of a subscriber and what the subscriber is really looking for beyond the value, beyond the stuff that you deliver. Charity Water really doubled down on their investment in their subscribers, and the, it shows in their on-ramp. I encourage you to join and uh, check this out for yourself, but let me walk you through what you're going to discover at, you know, at Charity Water and point out some key things that you know, really can help you create your subscriber on-ramp. First, let's dive into the Charity Water sales page for their subscription program called The Spring. Charity Water made the decision to distinguish their sales pages for one-time donations from the spring, which is all about a subscription that uh, has an ongoing renewal. While Charity Water wasn't the first charity to accept memberships and recurring revenue at, in lieu of donations, they were really one of the first to go all in and push at a subscription first a business model. Here on the sales page, it's focused first on the spring. And you and the really some of the key pieces are something that I try to work with all subscription businesses on is they paint a clear before and after transformation of what they're trying to accomplish within the spring, within charity water. The fact that there's so many people in this world that don't have access to clean water and how their mission here at Charity Water is to br bring all of them, give all of them access to clean water. This before and after transformation is crucial. Very few subscription businesses will talk about the problem 
and how they bring about a solution to that problem. Most just want to tell you about the features. They want to tell you about the service. They want to tell you about their SaaS product that they're trying to sell you. And Charity Water is brilliant in how it demonstrates a before and after transformation. Their offer is subscription first. They go after the subscription immediately and invite their subscriber, their, their donors to make a subscription first. And then if you want to you know, downsell, you're not interested at the moment of doing a subscription, you can put in a one-time donation. And when you are in the spring, when you do donate and jump in, their onboarding page is terrific. Let's check it out. Once you've joined the spring, the next page brings you to a confirmation onboarding video recorded by the founder of Charity Water, Scott Harrison. Scott does a great job in this video reaffirming the reasons why you subscribed, why you joined, and really painting that picture as to the benefits of being a Charity Water a, a Spring member. You, it's really valuable to take a look and listen to this video after you join this, the Charity Water the Spring yourself because what he does is reaffirm the key points of the sales message. Key, you know, number one, that 100% of the money goes to uh, providing water, uh, that this, this mission of providing clean water, and that really sets up the next phase, which is you know, your total life impact. And uh, that is crucial because not only does that create an open loop, you know, in NL NLP terms, but, you know, creates a little hook to get someone interested in seeing what's next, but it is the, th the key thing that sets up the long-term lifetime value, the long-term subscriber retention that is so important. So now the ne next page, let's dive into your actual you know, member profile that you see after you confirm your subscription here. This is a picture of the member profile and it's kind of neat here at the top. What it does is it shows you the impact that you're going to have month after month as you give additional contributions to the spring. So it helps you anticipate and you don't, you know, there, there's this kind of urge not to let that go, not to stop that impact. The other interesting thing that they do here at Charity Water is your impact sure is the amount of money that you give, but it's also the amount of referrals that you invite to also join the spring. Maybe you know the Charity Water was the, really the first that I know of organization that you know encouraged individuals to donate their birthdays and make contributions to Charity Water in lieu of a birthday gift or a other acknowledgement. And you know, using your link in order to give that those recommendations now it improves in this dashboard showing you the impact of those donations reflected here on your screen giving you the the, the positive win that you're having a positive impact on this challenge of providing clean water to the hundreds of thousands or millions of people in the world that don't have it the other thing that I think is fascinating that I rarely see on a, you know, a, a subscriber page inside a subscription program is here on the second half of the page, they you know, still a little bit above the fold if you're scrolling through on your screen, they have a value build, videos demonstrating the impact, videos that are reselling you on the value that your subscription provides uh, to you. And so you know, where can you have other videos, other impact and demonstrate to your subscribers the benefits of your subscription program? This is particularly important when you're, when maybe your subscription is being reviewed by a spouse or a another stakeholder. Uh, even you know in a B two C, it might be a spouse that's you know passing judgment on a credit card charge. Within a B two B, it may be a, a, a manager or an accounting department or a budget manager that's reviewing whether or not the business really needs to have that subscription and whether whether or not it could possibly be canceled. 
and having uh, sales videos, things that can help demonstrate the value within the subscription page so that your subscriber can point to those, play them for these stakeholders, and get that approval on your ongoing charges is an absolute game changer and can have a huge impact on your subscription business. So this is, this is a great sales page. The other thing that I want to point out is this little slide over on the right that shows you other people's impact. And of course, Scott Harrison is at the top, but when you go into those pages, here is a, an example of one, Brian Kurtz, uh, it, in his profile, and Brian's a great friend of mine and actually the one of the key individuals who introduced me to Charity Water to begin with and actually introduced me to Scott Harrison uh, to begin with. Uh, he, you know, he actually, you can see on this page the things that he's done, the people that he's brought in, the contributions that he's been able to generate through his efforts, which then helps, in, one, it recognizes him for those efforts and gives him a great feeling that he's having a positive impact on people around the world and their access to water. And it also gives inspiration to others to try to strive to be like them. It demonstrates that people like us do things like this. For your own onboarding, for your own on-ramp, how can you paint the picture of what your subscriber is going to be able to achieve as your subscriber. What are the impacts they're going to be able to have in their life, uh, whether it's a hobby and maybe they're going to have a positive impact on their golf game? Is there a way to show them and demonstrate that within their business? Possibly if it's a SaaS product and it's a tool that's going to be able to improve their business, are you going to be able to show and demonstrate that when they log in? Not just the impact that they've already had, but also the impact that they're going to have on the future. And can you incorporate some sales materials to help affirm the value of what your subscription business delivers right there within the member profile so that your subscriber, one, can reaffirm it for themselves, and then also they have that as a tool to be able to show a spouse or a CFO uh, or somebody else that might be looking over their shoulder at this subscription. Going forward, they, one of the key challenges that the spring had was, you know, how do we interact with our new subscribers? What do we do? What do we, how do we send them information that helps affirm that? And really one of the key things that I wanted to draw your attention to is the onboarding email for the spring and how that email works so well together with their membership portal. One of the key parts of this email is that it shows the outcome of the success of this program. The first thing you see when you open the email are people standing around a well that was created and provided by Charity Water. And this picture of the outcome is crucial within your email onboarding. You know, how can you show the outcome of what your subscription business can do for your subscriber. What is the picture of the of success look like and how can you illustrate that right in your subscribers inbox immediately after they join? The other piece of this is it, it reaffirms this lifetime value. It brings them back to the impact that they can have, and that helps a, you know, draw attention to those other features within their pro, uh, portal. Though maybe they haven't gotten to it or maybe they haven't clicked around yet in order to see that. And having that delivered to your email is extremely powerful. And then finally, the, the one of the key pieces of Charity Water is the ongoing communication. It's kind of like, you know, we got them to subscribe and we you know, ha were able to have a, a clear impact. Now, how do we get them to you know, engage? How do we get them to keep them a member? What do we send them on an ongoing basis that is going to you know, keep them excited? And this is really one of, another one of the key places that Charity Water knocks it out of the park. 
Here is a good news email that Charity Water sends to their subscribers that keeps them engaged and keeps them excited. And the, really, again, one of the key pieces is that this shows a picture of the outcome of what Charity Water is all about and gives additional stories of Charity Water's work within communities and that it helps keep that subscriber excited and engaged because they're able to see that this works. They're able to see that they are part of something bigger and they're able to see that the impact that they're having. And this is really one of the key reasons why I help subscription businesses that I'm working with focus on case studies, stories of subscribers, stories of successful members who are using the product and getting a tremendous impact. Because what this does is it demonstrates that this works. It helps show that your subscriber is part of a team that's winning and it helps them see that before and after impact that they're having by following your plan. Now let's take a look at the Be Unleavable scorecard and see how Charity Water stacks up on the conversion, offer, on-ramp, retention, and monetization scores uh, and see how they're doing. So first, number one, conversion, A. They've done a great job, better than most subscription businesses do, in painting that before and after transformation, showing what's going to happen as a result of joining the subscription. Next, offer. They're leading with the subscription. Most charities and organizations that I see are scared. They're fearful that if they don't if they if they ask for that subscription, then their subscriber is going to you know bounce off, and they're not they're going to lose that opportunity because they asked for a subscription when somebody showed up only ready to give a donation. Instead, Charity Water understands their numbers. They recognize that a subscriber is worth so much more than a one-time donor, and so they've got the guts to put that subscription first offer. Next, on ramp. There's a great video by Scott Harrison reintroducing, even though they just bought, they're, you know, Scott Harrison introducing uh, the, the new donor to Charity Water, talking about the donations, talking, you know, teasing about the impact. It's a great reaffirming uh, uh, video. I encourage you to donate so you can see that video and uh, check it out for yourself. Next, retention. They're very smart about their communication and the key messages that they need to give to their subscribers on a monthly basis in order to keep those subscribers engaged. And finally, monetization. One of the key drivers of subscription growth you know, they, you know, Charity Water has several programs about helping your subscribers, do, you know, give more, helping, you know, up, upgrade a subscriber who's maybe contributed $25 you know, a month and getting that subscriber up to maybe $50 a month and painting that picture along the way. We didn't dive into it in this video, but I encourage you to check out Charity Water so that you can see it for yourself. So overall, the score, Be Unleavable scorecard for Charity Water is an A+. I absolutely encourage you to check them out and contribute uh, uh, so that you can do that uh, for yourself. As always, I appreciate your feedback. Let me know your comments and questions uh, below this video. And if this video has been helpful, I encourage you to check out the Nine Proven Models for Exponential Subscription Growth book. It's available on Amazon. Or if you'd like a, to download a free digital copy, you can uh, check that out at ninepruvenmodels.com. And I've got another great video for you on subscriber retention and engagement. Somebody who's not using your subscription is the most likely candidate to quit your subscription. Subscriber engagement is the number one key to getting higher retention. This video is gonna show you how to increase your subscriber engagement, how to improve retention, and exactly what the levers are to grow your subscription revenue and make your growth exponential again.